I want to talk about the recent sneak. I was scrolling on Twitter, by the way. I was scrolling on Twitter. I looked down. I looked at, I saw something trending. I saw a sneako trending. I was saying, what for? What, what is he trending for? I looked at it, and then I saw, like, Charlie and Sneeko going back and forth to each other. Then I watched videos of Charlie. I watched videos of Charlie. Uh, this entire beef was straight up. N n n it shouldn't have even existed. It shouldn't have even existed. A, a dude who talks about relationship advice or relationship problems. Sneeko's a cuck. I, I, I've, heard, I've heard about this from Charlie. I This man is a cuck. So I don't know why this soy boy dude is literally giving relationship advice and relationship problems when he when <laughs> when his girlfriend can't even get unfucked. Like, huh? Like, bro, you are not happy. You you are not happy. How are you gonna How are you gonna tell somebody else about their relationship advice or or what they do with their relationship? And tell them, oh yeah, cooking is amazing. Cooking is the greatest. It's so good. No, clearly, dude, you are not happy. Clearly, dude, you are out of your mental state. You waved a gun. <laughs> you waved a gun on live stream because Charlie hurt your feelings. I'm pretty sure everybody else was uh, making fun of you. To be honest, you should not be giving relationship advice. You should not be the clone Andrew Tate that everybody is saying. You should not be that. You are a bootleg version of Andrew Tate. Because you're in a cuckold relationship. Your girl gets fucked by probably like 2,000 dudes, maybe 3,000, maybe maybe hundreds of hundreds of dudes. You brought her to a sex party to watch her get absolutely manhandled, and you just got angry. There is no way you should be uh, talking about relationships. You need to fix yours first. Fix your relationship or break up or something. Fix your relationship first before you start talking about everybody else's other relationship. And you about and also you making fight proposals. Let let let's be honest. Your your stick your skinny stick ass. I, I'm I'm skinny also, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to I wouldn't fight you because I have a fear of not getting hit in the fucking face. But I can make fun of you because um let's see I'm not a cuck. I'm not a bitch either. Um what what else what else um. My girlfriend is not getting absolutely manhandled by other niggas and getting a train ran on her. You are in a very sad relationship, and you should not be talking about who people should talk about their other relationship. Please, just stop talking, bro. You're digging yourself a 12-foot hole. That is beyond regulations, that is, that is That is crazy that you are digging yourself a deeper and deeper hole and please stop waving guns around, bro. Like you're you're not that hard. Stop, stop, just stop. You got you got mags. You got clips. Con congratulations. What are you a blood gang member? Con congrats, I guess. Like I mean, congrats. I mean, con literally congrats. You're still a sad piece of shit. Congrats, bro. You're still a sad soy boy piece of shit. Like you are sad. Like you're actually still fucking sad. You waving guns around like you hard or some shit. Waving around clips, mags, and a pistol ammo. You're not hard. Everybody in America got guns. Anybody in the world can shoot you. Anybody in the world can fucking murder you. And you're just straight up like, oh yeah, I, I'm on high, I'm on coke, yeah, let me wave around these mags, because <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Like, bro, okay, we get it, woohoo. Con congrats. You're... The, Killing someone is not going to unfuck your girlfriend. No, bro. You're going to have that memory with you for the rest of your life. The rest of your life. So I hope you, I hope you, uh, I hope you get used to it. Because I'm pretty sure your girlfriend loves other men more than you. Because you are a sad sack of shit.